What is up? This is Raphael from NBA Draft Junkies again, and the prospect for today is Italian point guard Matteo Spaniolo, who is arguably the most exciting prospect from an entertainment standpoint in the 2022 draft class. But he is not just all flash and flair, he's got the game to complement his highlight reels. Now, the first thing that I noticed about Spaniolo was his offensive creativity and swagger. Swagger is becoming this overused term in sports, but if I had to pick one prospect that exudes swagger in this draft class, I'd go with Mateo. Another area of Spaniolo's game that caught my attention is his ability to get to his sweet spots and make pull-up jumpers out of ball screens. He's an aggressive attacker that loves to get downhill in pick and roll situations, and he has what I call the stop and pop in his bag of tricks, which I believe is a much needed weapon. It always amazes me how many guards lack the body control to be able to stop on a dime, elevate, and make pull-up jumpers off the dribble. So far this season through 10 games, he's shooting a very respectable 38.5% on pull-up jumpers off the dribble on 39 attempts. The percentage is jumped to 44% on pull-up jumpers out of pick and roll. I think this is a great sign considering he's 18 years old and he's playing in Italy's top division, but it's also a huge improvement over the summer where he only shot one of 18 on pull-up jumpers at their under 20 games. From the games that I've seen, the majority of Spaniolo's possessions come as the pick and roll ball handler, where his first instinct is to get downhill and finish in the paint. However, he has shown that he can mix defenders up, mostly bigs on switches, and keep them off balance with his crafty ball handling, which allows him to get to his pull up, which has been his bread and butter this season as an 18 year old playing in Italy's top division. While scoring gets all the attention, Spaniolo is a good passer. Actually, you know what, I'm not even giving him enough credit. He's a really good passer that can make high level reads and he uses his threat as a scorer to create open looks for teammates. In my opinion, the best and most effective players out of pick and roll are aggressive bucket getters that look to turn the corner and manipulate defenses with their ability to put the ball in the basket. What I like is that he has a variety of reads in his distribution arsenal. He can make kickouts, pocket passes, he can find the roll man, and of course, he can whip flashy live dribble passes with a little bit of Italian sauce to his cutting teammates. I really like what Spaniolo brings to the table as a transition scorer. Whether it's playing for Real Madrid last season, the Italian under 20 national team, or for Vinoli this year, he's been effective scoring in the open floor, and the numbers don't lie. He has converted over 75% of his attempts and transitioned over the last calendar year. What makes him special is he has great instincts and creativity and is equally dangerous as the lead ball handler as he is filling the lanes. He is at his best playing in an open running gun type system where I feel like he can impact games as a transition playmaker. As far as areas of improvement, we can start with his jumper. He'll need to improve as a shooter to maximize his potential as a scorer. He struggles in catch and shoot situations and sometimes passes up open looks from deep to take a tougher mid-range shot. And his lack of shooting was evident this summer when he made only 11% of his jumpers playing for the Italian under 20 national team. And he has continued the struggle this season. He is only five of 17 on catch and shoot jumpers through the first 10 games. Finishing at the rim and in traffic is another area where I'd like to see him make big improvements. He has the handle, the speed, and the offensive creativity to get to the basket, but he struggles finishing in the paint. Some of it is due to his lack of strength or lack of vertical pop around the basket, and sometimes he just misses what looks like an easy bunny. And lastly, I've mentioned how much I like his swagger and confidence, but sometimes it gets him in trouble as he tends to hunt highlight reel assists or plays wild and out of control. Sometimes he'll add a little flavor or sauce to a pass instead of making the simple play. I don't want to take away from his creativity, but he'll need to find a balance between flash and fundamentals. He also often drives without a plan, which leads to him being caught in the air and forcing passes that aren't there. But overall, I take a shot at him as a first round pick 
He's only 18, so we'll see if he decides to come out this year or next. 